Alright. So, we just came back from a mission. We need to watch our finances and we're ready to go on that raid, I think. Oh wait, no, there's another crest UFO. Well, okay. We'll get that first. Um, is there anything to sell? Mm. A little. So just get rid of the whole lot. We're getting lots of heavy plasmas now. And we're gonna get a whole bunch more from... Oops. Misread that. We're gonna get a whole bunch more from the um, alien base, so... And we're gonna get a lot of alloys from the base as well. We're gonna be pretty generous about selling some off. And that means we can get more engineers. 50 on the way, let's make that another... 50? I don't remember how much. No, we can make that another... I think they are, you could hold 126. Maybe 76 more. And that gives us a bit of buffer money. But we're gonna blow through all the buffer money <laughs> and buy more engineers. Um, bases have power sources, so I'm gonna sell some of those. They have navigation, so I'll sell some of those. Sell some more alloys. Um, I want to keep the Illyrium. Maybe sell some clips. And then buy as many engineers as we can get, minus a few. Just so we have enough money to keep making stuff. There we go. Oh, right, I have a... I had a couple of uh, soldier requests. So... Yeah, these two will do. Rajesh is being renamed to Des. And Peter Holob is now Troy. God damn it, guys. Alright. Oof, perfect. Dal and sleepy people. Alright. Laser cannon. Let's go. Everyone, you're gonna make. A lot of laser cannons, and you're gonna sell all of them. Maybe make it 200. That should last them a while. And sleepy people... Doing the same thing. And that's That'll just give us a steady flow of income. It's not heaps, considering we paid millions to hire the engineers and set up the facilities, and it costs hundreds of thousands to build the stuff. Like build the actual laser cannons. But it is profit nonetheless. I think I forgot to tell them to sell those. There we go. Right, so we'll get to that crash site in a sec. Just need to wait for the sun to go up. To do that should be enough. The image is really fast. Oh, right. I was trying to figure out why it was 218 too, but it's weapons. Uh, like craft weapons. Was the missing two. The unknown two. Alright. That's not very exciting. No shots. We're not really in a corner. We're sort of at an edge. This is a corner, so I guess we sort of are, but... Wow, that's the corner there. The map's pretty small. There's the UFO. And there's a building. What do we got? Sectoids, and that's a rifle. It's not a, um... Oh, hello. Not a heavy plasma, but that one's a heavy plasma though. Rookies. Rookies, rookies. Emil could use some experience. Palov could use some experience. I'm thinking Camille needs it more. 
Yeah, I forgot they give them flying suits. That's fine. Wasn't too bad. Also wasn't too bad. Ooh, that was looking pretty good, except it's the wrong height. Ooh. And that one's not happening. Alright, next up we have... Palov. Take the shot. I'll get him to an auto, and then if that doesn't do it, I'll just get him to snap, so that he has enough time to move out of the way. Ooh, that was close. Because it takes four to move uh, an adjacent square that isn't diagonal. Oh, I might get him to move there with a the sprint. Chizu, you are up. Oh, you can afford to double auto, that's cool. That was close. Not to the target I wanted, but close nonetheless. Ooh, that was also really close. Nice. Alright, now he needs to get out of the way. Um, pull him back. And then the last alien is just sort of a free-for-all. Well, that works. Alright. Um, so the tanks should be able to absorb any fire. And we still have smoke grenades as well. Such as this one. Which we will chuck right in front of the UFO. Just like so. This guy's have a lot of energy. Not anymore. <laughs> he had a lot of energy. Wow, this guy has a lot of energy too. Usually time units and energy are roughly proportionate. But some people have like way more of one or the other. Like this guy has way more energy. And this guy has more time units. Of the two time units is more versatile, but you kind of need some of both. I think... And we have so many people that it's pretty inconvenient to uh, organize them. Damn it. One off throwing. So we might have to sprint half the way. There we go. Just throw over here. And maybe, maybe one more over here. Would be nice. If you can reach that far. It's a big throw. Oof. Nice. Must be pretty strong. 59. Yep, that would do it. And everyone else just file out. It's not very exciting, but... I mean, it's a small UFO and we've already killed two guys, so... Short of them having blasters, there's not that much that's particularly threatening. Even if they alien grenade us, it should be okay. Should, being the operative word there. Last guy. And then there's just like three guys sitting there who can't do anything. There's more guys in the building. There's two more in the building. So there's a total of four at the building. That's unusually high. But I did. It did happen last game as well. Well, not last game. Last um. Last mission as well. I think. There was like heaps of people in one building, which was really weird. So we got Matthew to take a shot. He nearly threw his weapon, that's fine. Close. Wait, did you destroy the corpse? God damn it, dude. That's actually really valuable, because along with the corpse is 
the um, weapon. And this weapons are worth 200k each. And they have a clip. And the corpse is worth 20k. So he just cost us 200k. God damn it. Let's see if the other hover tank can get an eye in. No. No, just pull back. I want to have eyes on the um, UFO door. Now we see it. <laughs> I like how he started firing, waited a bit, and then kept firing afterwards. Because he couldn't quite make up his mind, like, damn, there's someone here, should I kill them, should I not kill them? That's looking good. Nicely done. Alright, so I'm guessing that's likely all of the outside guys, but... Got the hover tanks to so just check it out. No, that's the guy next to the UFO. So that's the end of the map. No? Oh. oh, there's another building. Shit, dude. Wow. That's quite a party. Um, again, I'll start off with the people who need the experience. And then fall back to the people... Wow. They all have plasmas and they're all just like in a triangle. And I'll fall back to the people who don't need the experience after these guys inevitably fail. <laughs> Plus there's a lot of stuff in the way, so I'm asking a lot from them. Oops. How do you pronounce it? Dem... Dembijou? I guess? You're up. No line of fire. Make line of fire. Destroy the hedge. Show it who's boss. Oh, it took that a little bit too far. But I can appreciate the enthusiasm. Still no line of fire. Jeez. At this rate, all of the people who need the experience are going to use their shots just on the hedge. No line of fire. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of stuff destroyed now. So hopefully... Some people will have line of fire. I'll get him to sprint, maybe he can fire. Yep, perfect. He should have line of fire, right? There we go. Close. Uh... You duck down. This guy can fire behind you. Same for Matthew. Camille, let's go. Not bad. Not great. Try again. Close. Juzu, let's go. One down. And now since he's got a kill, I'll swap him to someone else. Ina could use it, so let's give them, I don't know if it's he or she, a shot. Yep, they could definitely use the shot. There we go. Alright, who's next? Sure. Shall we here? Kareem. Take him out. No line of fire? Make a line of fire. I believe in you. I don't really believe in you anymore though. I mean, he's holding a grenade in his other hand. So it's... It's asking a lot, because two-handed weapons do have an accuracy penalty. If you have something in your other hand. Anything that's like... A rifle or a heavy weapon, those are all two handed. And just pistols are one handed. So, with pistols, you can carry anything in the other hand, it doesn't matter. Uh, that's a good place to end. So, there's four per building. Get the rookies to take him out if they have the ability to. That's looking good. Not quite. Ooh. No, 
Yes, they don't. So it should be just the UFO left. I'd be really surprised if there's more than eight outside. I totally forgot about that guy. He's been there the whole time. Alright. That was close. But not quite. Ooh, that looks good. Got him. Right. And still more, so probably UFO. Um got a squad of let's say six. Check it out. People who need some extra training. That'll do. Just these six. So the smoke will cover them for now. So I'll just get them to move up to the fence. Well, I guess it's like a stone wall. And then we'll get in position to breach. <coughs> and then we'll breach the turn after. Actually, we won't need two turns. It's quite a distance. Um, yeah. So, set up from here, I think. And then next turn we'll go to the sides of the UFO door. Oh, we could just reaction shot, actually. It's a risk. Though. Most people carry heavy plasmas right now, because we're pretty far into the game. Um, maybe I'll get my tank down to try and absorb the shots. Like if he stands like here. Or maybe, maybe not quite that close, maybe like here. Oh, okay. Right in front of the door, sure, why not? At least for now. But yeah, if the tanks are in the way, then probably the aliens shoot them first. So that makes it less risky to do reactions training. Like, one, two, three, four, five, there. That's like here. Alright. Maybe move my guys one closer, just so that you can definitely see through that smoke. Nothing's happening. Going berserk, as you do. Hmm. He's going berserk and now he's refusing to leave. But I really want that reaction training if we can get it. Ooh. Hello. He grenaded my tank and it killed him. And the tank's not even hurt. <laughs> oh man, that is some high level strategic tactical play right there guys. We're being invaded by aliens, but don't worry, they're all brain dead. <laughs> oh my god. That's seriously so bad. Oh. We don't actually see him. Okay, well... Maybe just stand next to the door then. That will probably... not kill us as they come out. Damn. 
Got him, boys. Oof, and the power source was intact. The 50 Marillium for us. Alright, so let's get this loadout out ready and let's take that base out. Before I end the stream. Unless it takes ages, in which case maybe not, but we'll see. Hopefully we can do it tonight. Um... Still making those flying suits. Um. I think. I think I'm pretty happy with this squad. I might just take out a couple of. Oh, he's wounded. I might just take a couple of the rookies out. Well. Pseudo rookies out. Yeah, let's take four out and put two of these guys in. I think Neil doesn't need it. I don't think Han Solo needs it, so maybe these two. He's wounded. Um, I'll just check the stats instead of guessing. Um, I mean, they're both pretty good. Maybe we'll just take a rookie. Also, I should go through and. Um, Check who has good size strength and who doesn't. Because that's really important. Especially this late into the game. Especially with an alien base on the cards. Because we don't know what type of base it is. Yet. We'll find out when we get there. We really have one guy missing a flying suit. That's really sad. Oh well. Alright, so let's go through the list. Wow. Let's make a note of this size strength. A lot of these guys have crap size strength. That's really bad. Especially if it's a psi species in the base, like if it's um Sectoids, then I guess it's not too bad, but if it's ethereals, which we haven't actually discovered yet, as I accidentally nearly typed that out, um, ethereals are like a whole race of sectoid leaders. Like, they're, they're all psi power dudes, so if you encounter them and you bring along people with like crap psi strength, like apparently most of my squad then you're gonna have a lot of issues with morale because they're gonna mind well not mind control they're gonna psi attack you and make you panic 98 good lad um and they're going to mind control your guys and make them shoot each other uh if we brought grenades they would totally use the grenades as well but fortunately we're smart and we don't bring grenades i think i will actually use that as justification to no not bring any grenades along for the rest of the game, like not normal ones at least. 100 size strength, what a beast. It makes him... I don't know if it's technically immune to mind control, but it's in practical terms he's immune to mind control. So if I have um, high ranking officers, wow 87. Good, it's just they're a rookie. <laughs> Test and try have the same size strength. That's so funny. Um what was I saying? So like yeah, the the existing high rank officers, if they have low size strength, then I can't afford to bring them on any missions. Um any high risk missions where psi is involved, which means no um base attacks. So hand solo is pretty crap. Side is pretty crap. Uh, I might, since we don't know what what's like inside the base, I might just take away anyone below thirty from the mission. And that's still quite a few, so I'm gonna make it below forty. Mm, yeah, that'll do. 
This and Troy. Wait. Everyone was left? You did. And whoever you are. So Solog? I don't know, man. And let's get that armor sorted. Plenty of power suits. I think one of the, um. Regional bases is in need of some upgraded armor. Like maybe the last two that I built need the armor. Um, so maybe next stream I'll try and go through those guys. Why are we too short now? We were only one short before. Did I just miscount last time? Maybe I did. Okay, that's fine. Um, just make sure that everyone has their equipment. Especially the rookies. You guys don't have flares. Oh, I mean, for a base miss, we don't need flares, but... Might as well get it right. Oh wow, you're overburdened. Uh, okay, ditch the flare. Mm. No, it's fine. Hmm, still have an extra smoke grenade. So someone's missing their second, I guess. No? That's weird. Oh, you can have it. Why not? Uh, no, don't bring those. <laughs> Actually... Um... It's a lot less risky to bring them. Okay. We have 20 workshop space. What am I do? Just pull a hundred engineers off and make some um, stun grenades. I don't think they're that expensive. Stun grenade, there we go. Five thousand. Wow. And then we just give a few guys stun grenades. That's a lot less risky than um, stun rods. 20 hours. Alright, let's get that done. Let's ship Europe. Oh, it's gonna land. It's just going pretty fast. I'm worried about that. It means if we want to get it while it's landed, it's probably gonna be um that time. Yeah. Well, that sucks. How's the manufacturing going? Eight hours. No, uh, I don't want to wait. Let's just get those on board. Give them out to a few different people. Every third guy, if they can carry it. What did I take off? Emirates? Players. Alright, so. Did we have a flare shortage? Maybe we did. Because I took off one flare and suddenly we we're missing two. Oh, well, like we have two spares. Who doesn't have one? You don't put your overburden. Alright, actually, you just get rid of the medkit. There you go. Uh, the medkit can go to. Billy, I think. Plus, you can have a stun rod. Stun rods for everyone. You don't need a stun rod and a grenade. And you might as well have an extra flare because apparently we have a spare. There we go. Where do I keep adding random things? Okay. So what I'll do is just hover next to the UFO. Alright, it's it's leaving. So we'll take it out. But we're not gonna um actually go to the crash site just yet. We do with that next stream. This stream we need to take care of that alien base because I promised you guys we'd do that. 
So we're going to say no. And let's take out that base. 